While some dispute the historical presentation of the rosary by Our Lady to Saint Dominic, many theologians and popes have upheld this understanding. History reveals that Saint Dominic was the first to preach and teach the rosary in the form of a meditative prayer and first to see the benefits reaped from meditation upon its mysteries. In the olden days, monks used to recite all 150 psalms every day, but later they recited the psalms every week. They used to drop into a pouch or vessel stones or pebbles to count each psalm. The ordinary people were not able to memorize all the psalms. So they prayed 150 Our Fathers instead, also using pebbles or stones to count. Later, they used knots of strings to count and even later they used beads. The Cistercians later developed the Marian Psalter which involved praying 150 Hail Marys divided into groups of 10 by our fathers. Prayer beads are used to keep track of the Hail Marys. It is not a meditative prayer though, nor one that would have been preached. In the 11th through the 13th centuries, a heretical doctrine developed in Europe. This teaching called Albigensian thought that only the spiritual is good and everything material is bad. Therefore, the body in and of itself is evil and every person's soul is imprisoned in that evil body. The only way in which a person could experience salvation was to be freed from the imprisonment of their flesh. Your body is filled with evil. Your soul needs to be set free. In order to do this, you must end your lives. Dominic Guzman, a Spanish priest, traveled into France preaching against the Albigensian heresy but his efforts gained only a few conversions and even fewer followers. Do not end your lives. Your lives are precious. Ending your lives is a grave sin. In the year 1208, St. Dominic went into a forest near Toulouse, France to pray, asking God to provide what he needed in order to overcome the Albigensian heresy. Oh God! Please show me a way to convert these people. Ancient accounts tell us that after three days of prayer and fasting, three angels appeared in the sky along with a ball of fire. When they disappeared, the Virgin Mary spoke. You must preach my Psalter in order to succeed in your struggle to overcome the Albigensians. The mysteries of life of Christ should be preached to correspond to the Psalter prayers. Stories of Christ's life which directly contradicted the heresy of the Albigensians by focusing on the incarnation, death and triumphant resurrection of my son. In 1213, only five years after St. Dominic was given the rosary, Catholic forces under the joint command of Count Simon de Montfort and St. Dominic were set to fight the Albigensians in Muret, a small town near Toulouse, France. The Albigensians were determined to take over France, further spreading their heretical beliefs. Catholics, of course, were determined to fight for Christ. Unfortunately, reinforcements had failed to arrive for the Catholic forces and the number were bleak. The Catholics had only 1,500 men, while they therefore had an army of 30,000 men. Be strong, do not fear.
Lord Simon! The reinforcements have failed to arrive. <gasps> Confident of their upcoming success, the Albigensians spent the night before the battle celebrating in drunkenness and debauchery. The Catholics, on the other hand, spent their night praying the rosary. Their celebration was was focused on that of the Mass and the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Saint Dominic went to the church of Saint Jacob in Muret to pray the rosary for victory, while Count Simon went into battle. The Catholics were able to rush upon the drunken Albigensians, routing the enemy army and declaring a victory for Christ and Our Lady. After the battle, every Catholic in the area attributed the victory of to the Rosary. Let us all celebrate! We are going to win anyway! Yay! expansion ceased and it never again reached the massive numbers it enjoyed prior to the Battle of Muret. As we continue to fight against heretics of one sort or another in our current day and age, Saint Dominic remains a hero to be remembered. Even more so the Rosary, a gift given by Our Lady all those years ago, remains a vital tool to winning the battle of good versus evil and truth versus falsehood.